Nothing is worse than when you smudge your glasses because that's all you see every time you look through them. Struggles of being a glassware. Hey guys, it is Sam and I hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm here with a book review. It has been a while, but his last time finally here to share with you guys a review of a book that I have read, which I have been trying to be better about doing, so here we are. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. So Nine Fox Gambit is a science fiction novel that takes place in I don't even know when because they don't tell you, but it basically follows our main character of Cheris. She is a captain in the military and she has been selected by the powers that be to be medically altered to basically hold the soul of a long dead general who basically went insane and killed a bunch of people, but he was a brilliant strategist so they saved his soul in what they call the Black Cradle and they can now use him at will by embedding him into other people. So basically Charis was selected for this because she is supposed to basically save this fortress from what they call calendrical heresy and she is supposed to use his knowledge and her knowledge combined to basically stop the heretics. So that is the basic synopsis of the story. That is the best way that I can explain this plot to you because it is very complex and confusing. So now we will get into what I actually thought of the book and my feelings about it. So to be completely honest with you guys, especially if you followed my social media while I was reading this, and it shouldn't be a surprise to you, but I did not like this book at all. I just did not like it. I felt like he was trying to be way too clever with what he was trying to do. I didn't like that he didn't explain anything. I'm the type of person that likes a lot of detail in my writing. I like things to be explained. Yes, I can kind of suspend my disbelief for the moment of what I'm reading, especially as a fantasy reader, you have to do that all the time because, you know, magic, unfortunately, doesn't really exist. So if somebody's gonna light a fire by pointing their finger at it, I'm just gonna have to accept it. But for me, especially when I read science fiction, I like things to be explained a little bit more, especially since typically this is supposed to take place far into our future, so I would at least like the science to make some sense, but he explains zero things, and I still don't even understand what was going on in this book. A lot of things were mentioned in this book that I just had a hard time grasping. For example, Formation Instinct. I kind of got the basic idea that this was something that they genetically altered in these people that made them obey, basically, their soldiers. I think, but he never really explains it. You're just supposed to kind of understand that this is Formation Instinct, this is what it does, move on with your life. Okay, I can handle that. But the thing that I really couldn't grasp and understand and what was frustrating me the most was this thing that they were calling calendrical heresy, which I don't even know what this is, but apparently this was a big thing. This is what was causing all of the issues and this world that all of these books are taking place in, which I'm assuming was a series of planets slash floating spaceships, but I don't know because he doesn't explain. He doesn't really explain. You're just supposed to assume they're either on a planet or a man-made satellite space station thing. You don't know because he doesn't explain it. And he also doesn't really explain what calendrical heresy is. It's just something that, I don't even know if it's a religion. I don't know if it's a science. I have no idea what it is, but it basically call, causes calendrical rot, which is a bad thing, which is why they're sending in Cheris to kind of deal with these heretics who are doing stuff that isn't in line with the calendar. Like, I literally have no idea, and I felt so frustrated while reading it. I think me being a type of person that likes detail, I'm an accountant, I like things to be explained, I like things to make sense, I like everything in their little box to a certain degree. I can suspend my disbelief for a while, I can kind of just accept things, but when something is such a big part of the plot and a big part of the world and it's supposed to be the driving motivation for all of the events that are occurring and you don't explain it, then I get extremely frustrated. So that was probably my biggest frustration with the novel. It doesn't happen very often where I am so irritated with a book that I literally want to just chuck it across the room. I think the last time I felt that way about a book, it was actually Wuthering Heights. So it's been a while since I felt that way, but this book really uh, drove that into me, that feeling of irritation. So I was not the biggest fan of this book. In terms of what I actually liked about the book, I did like that he was trying to be innovative in what he was doing. I did like that he was kind of trying to make something new and big, and I just feel like he he just tried too hard, almost. That's kind of how I felt about it. I, did, I do appreciate his creativity and what he was trying to do, but it definitely just was not the book for me. So in terms of my rating breakdown, I would have to give the plot one star. I would give the writing three stars. I would give the characters 
three stars because some of the little android characters are pretty fun. I would give the execution of this novel one star and I would take the world in which this took place, the world building space if you will, one and a half stars because he really didn't explain anything and I could not picture anything at all. I, I just yeah, it was a really, really difficult book for me to get through. For an overall rating of two stars, this book was just definitely not one for me. I can definitely see why people would enjoy it. I used to read a lot more science fiction when I was in high school and middle school. I haven't read as much in recent years. It's not my most favorite genre anymore. That would definitely be fantasy and classic literature. But I still have read enough sci-fi to have an idea of the genre and this book just fell short for me so just fully so just definitely was not one that I enjoyed I can see people I can see why people would enjoy it but for me it just it just did not hit the mark for me at all I like a lot of description in my books I like things to be kind of more explained I like to have there be a motivation I like to understand the character's motivation and I didn't that was another thing I didn't much care for about this book was that a lot of the characters just fell very very flat for me I, everybody kind of felt like they had the same personality like the Stepford Wives almost was a little bit of how people like everybody's kind of the same a cookie cutter of the same person you kind of had little glimmers of people's personality but their motivation and behind their actions was still somewhat lacking for me so this was definitely not the book for me as I said I rated it two out of five stars if you enjoyed it I'm very very glad that you enjoyed it but it was definitely just one that kind of missed the mark for me. All right guys, that is it for my review of Nine Fox Gambit. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. I had a really, really hard time reviewing this book because it was such a complicated book for me and my feelings for it were very strong. So I hope that my review at least made sense and gives you a better idea of what to expect if you choose to pick this book up. But yes, that is it for my review of Nine Fox Gambit. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.